There's a butterfly on the chair. There's two faces right here on the arms. Of course, there's a lot of detail along the side. Almost looks like a sea turtle. We got a lot of shells, more faces, snake looking thing with the sword up the middle, faces, a lot of detail going into this piece of art. Boom. Crazy look at sun. Got the awesome step to get into the chair. Oh, don't forget the middle. Don't forget the middle here. All of these beads. There's a face right there. It's beautiful, but I myself probably would have stayed away from that. But it also looks like something that was replicated from a tarot card. And it's giving me like some type of ceremonial throne chair. I don't know, guys. Would you explore it or would you stay away from that? That was literally a couple of days ago. A couple of... And this is North Carolina here. I am thinking that it's in Vietnam, but this is North Carolina. That is only two states down. Actually, North Carolina or South Carolina? Yeah, one state down. Crazy. right in front of us. Am I trippin'? Bro, check this out. What the fuck? Have you all seen this? What is it? The VMAs? Bro, watch this. Look at this big boy. Yeah, watch closely. Fuck? It's so crazy. Man, what the fuck going on? We're gonna have a replay real quick just to really take a look y'all y'all look at this lady look at her <laughs> what is she looking at <laughs> something is seriously going on there's something seriously wrong with her Do you guys think that's real or do you think that they just did that for some creepy action and kind of for it to go viral I begin to pass out. Then my head hit the wall. <clears throat> yeah, that car just got struck with lightning. It has to be Florida. How mad would you be if somebody built a house right in front of your house, like right in front of your house, and to block your view to the beach? That's the pettiest bull I ever seen. I, I don't know what I would yep. do. This is our last warning as it has been raining deadly baseball sized ice from our Scott, strong enough to dent bone and there's nowhere to take shelter. 
People were terrified after Calgary, Canada, suddenly out of nowhere, hailed huge baseball-sized ice from the sky that was able to shake and rattle houses, completely shattered cars, and this is becoming more common. Haunting videos show home windows completely shattered, home rooftops ripped into, cars with baseball-sized holes in the windows, and huge dents on steel doors. With experts reporting the hail was dropping at a force of a staggering 67 miles per hour, strong enough to impale or fatally end a person's life. And this was sustained for a That's shocking crazy. over half an hour. Breaking glass. With many and people everything. not even getting enough time to fully run to shelter as there were no wow. signs of this beforehand. Experts leave a haunting warning that it seems these hailstorms are becoming as common as rain in the US and Canada due to climate change. That's crazy. I actually seen a video where um, a couple was in the car and they had to put their rugs up towards the window because those balls of ice were just coming right through and breaking the window. The gr glass was going absolutely everywhere. But like, can you imagine insurance companies? They will be in a complete and total frenzy. And um, I, I just miss Kim, y'all. You know what I'm saying? And I know we all go through grief and stuff like that. And it's like... You know, stay connected to God. But I miss Kim so much, and I just want to say thank you to Kim. Yeah, and also Cassie for holding me down in the dark times. Love. Yeah, that's pure evil. Like, look how it can come to you. Just wrapped in a pretty little box just like he really looks emotional he really looks like he cares but look at what he has done and look at what he has been doing in the background that's completely crazy monsters really come as those people that seem like they are the nicest they do the most for people and that's what you really have to look out for and once again like i talk about in mostly every video we really have to have that discernment you guys did you see that canada um stop paying their bills like, they literally stopped paying all of their bills, their mortgages, everything, because they fucking fed up. What are we doing? We need to come together. This is crazy. <laughs> oh, my God. Holy shit. Louisiana, USA. So we just had... Louisiana, North Carolina, Vietnam, China. This has been going on in the last week. If that's if that's not concerning, I don't know what is. Sunday became a pagan day. Well, another thing Constantine did was move the day of Jesus' birth to December. Because Tammuz died on December 23rd. And it was believed, because Nimrod, his father, was a hunter, it was believed that Nimrod would be reborn in his son Tammuz. And his son Tammuz's birthday was December 25th. And what you would do on Tammuz's birthday was you would set up a tree. Deuteronomy 1621. You shall not plant for yourself any tree as a wooden image near the... You know what? The public needs to know about this. Now, I don't know if there's portals that are in the ocean or they got other civilizations, got in but everything that comes out of there is weird or... How many clues do you need to confirm to depopulate the planet? First, from his own mouth. Now, the world today has 6.8 billion people. Now, if we do a really great job on new vaccines, healthcare, 
reproductive health services, we could lower that by perhaps 10 or 15 percent. Now look at his latest product. It's called Appeal. It's like a wax coating that goes on fruits and vegetables for them to last longer. First, you can't wash it off, and according to their own documentation, you can find traces of arsenic, lead, and mercury on their products. What? So the same guy who says he wants to depopulate is deeply invested in abortions, deeply invested in vaccines, and he's not putting arsenic in the food supply. He doesn't believe in planting trees. I don't plant trees. He wants your food to be grown in a lab with God knows what, and he wants to block out the sun. I mean, who is this guy? I mean, are we the science people or are we the idiots? I, which one do we want to be? Uh, <laughs> As of right now, many people are the idiots because I don't know how so many people, people can look up to him and just praise him for all the stuff that he has done. There are so many videos out here where it comes out of his mouth where he speaks on all the things that he is planning on doing, on all the things that he has been doing and people are just kind of overlooking that and then at the same in the same breath are stating that he has helped so many people in Africa and he's been doing all this great work for like orphanages and things like that but I'm just like come on you guys are you not seeing these videos how can you just dash by this and act like it's this isn't even a thing and when it comes to the appeal that he has created that stuff that they put on the vegetables and the fruits i literally have a tomato upstairs that has been there for like two months and it's still in perfect condition so i picked it up to go throw it away because in two months i just was like i'm not about to eat this but then i just went ahead and put it back because i want to see how long exactly it's going to last me and i have a feeling it's going to be good for like up to six months if not no, if not more because it's in perfect condition California, that's another state on our list. All within a week. This is what the mall looked like in 1996. One thing I want you to realize is how nobody is on their phone. Everybody's living in the moment. Nobody's looking down at their phone every five seconds, recording a video, on the phone texting somebody, just really living in the moment. Like I'm actually flabbergasted that nobody is on their phone. Reach down in their pocket, reach down to get the matrix square. Suddenly having the real realization that we are so connected with technology now. Just think about it. How long can you go without being on your phone? And I know, I know, because I'm a victim of it too. Every five seconds I'm reaching down in my pocket seeing new notifications. Literally nobody is on their phone. And it says, I thought the sign of the cross was made on the shoulders. Yeah. Have y'all been having headaches lately? Y'all been feeling dehydrated? We just had five X flares within the past three days, you guys. Solar maximum is ramping up, especially in the month of August. And people are reporting that they are seeing the Aurora Borealis as far as Alabama. Check this out. Government, government scientists keeping a close eye on the sun following a series of intense flares that started over the weekend. NBC's Tom Costello covers Space Force, joins us now with more on this, this ongoing solar phenomenon, if you will. Tom, help us understand what this is even all about. Well, it's incredibly cool if you're a space geek like me, right? Space weather forecasters are reporting severe geomagnetic storm conditions on the sun, including at least five strong solar flares since August 10th. And the activity was more intense than initially expected. So we're right now in a period known as solar maximum. And the sun's magnetic field is right now at its peak of an 11-year cycle. It sends out bubbling, shooting streams of plasma that are 400 times hotter than the sun itself. And scientists are expecting that this increased solar activity will, will continue but the intensity of this flare-up has really caught them by surprise, Craig. So five strong flares since early August. Any idea how this could impact us, us, us mere earthlings here on the third rock? 
Yeah, that's right. Uh, you know, and Nanu Nanu. Uh, listen, we've seen it in the past, and, and it could happen again, right? Interfering with power grids by surging higher voltages through transmission lines. So power companies are, are taking steps to avoid disruptions. We could also see high-frequency communications affected at high, at high altitudes. So we're talking about GPS and, re and radio signals that could be, could be scrambled. A and the storms can even increase the Earth's drag on satellites in low Earth orbit. Thankfully, no major problems reported right now. And by the way, the auroras from these storms are sometimes visible in the night sky, even in the summer. Forecasters say we should watch the sky tonight as far south as Alabama, as far west as California. You might see a trace of auroras even here we are in August. I'm speechless, but it, it feels like we're living in a movie. I feel like we're living in like the day after tomorrow. But maybe this is the reason why we're getting all these storms. But when they say that, you know, our power grid might go out and our technologies, our phones, computers, that just gives me a little bit of a feel of like, it could be some type of setup, but nevertheless, it will be a crazy situation to go through and we always got to stay prepared. This is going to be really hard for me to talk about, so bear with me. It's going to get dark in here. We are going to talk about the dark history on why jails were created. In 1863, African-American slaves were freed. They thought things were great, but they really just got backstabbed. Now, as you know, in 1861 and 1865, the American Civil War happened. During the Civil War, roughly 179,000 black men fought in the Civil War. They fought in the war because they thought America would look out for them, which ultimately made them worry because now how do we keep these people in control? The government needed a way to create peace, to keep the white people happy, but also take care of the African-American citizens that just got freed. Before the 1890s where they started the Prison Act, jails and prisons tend to look like houses, some like this. After the American Civil War, the number of US penitentiaries in the South and West spiked. So um, who y'all finna put in there? After this, a lot of African-Americans were locked up. Their inmates population surpassed 30,000. By 1880s, African-Americans became the major inmates. They were backstabbed. You're telling me that they helped fight the war and then they were falsely imprisoned to do more labor. Convicts who were originally slaves dug levees, laid railroad tracks, picked cotton and mined coals for private companies and planters. Mostly false imprisonment or doing more time than they deserved. Innocent man locked up for 37 years. 1944, George Steeney, 14 year old electrocuted and he was innocent. We're still living in this dark history and Joe Biden played a part in it. Your president signed a crime bill what was one of the key contributions to mass incarcerations in 1990s, especially hurting blacks and brown Americans. African Americans, they were never really freed. It just was switched. Black people were never given equality. Let's just clear that up. African Americans have been fighting for decades for equality from the government. Everybody be safe out there. We already know that melanated people were never given equality at the end of the day. And they're always going to hit you with the okie doke. You have to be mentally prepared and you have to be almost pretty much out of the matrix to understand what is going on here and let it not affect you mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, which is super hard because you still have to live in the matrix and in the unfairness of this nation this world and always remember every time they give you a chance and opportunity it's only to sway you in another wrong direction Super Typhoon Yagi, Asia's strongest storm this year, made landfall on the coast of China's Hainan province on Friday, bringing gusty winds and heavy rain that forced schools to close for a second day and canceled flights in the South China Sea. He said the schools to be closed for the second day. I don't even think there will be a school left after this. <laughs> it's not funny, but... I'm just saying. Typhoon Yagi made landfall in southern China on Friday, forcing more than a million people to evacuate, closing schools and businesses, disrupting transportation, and raising alarms about the risk of landslides and flooding. Oh my gosh.
Yagi, one of the strongest storms of 2024, made landfall on the island province of Hainan at 4 p.m. local time, according to the China National Meteorological Center. The storm had maximum sustained winds of 144 miles per hour, equivalent to a Category 4 hurricane, according to the U.S. Navy's Joint Typhoon Warning Center. That's so crazy. That is so scary. There would literally be no safe place but underground. The center said the storm was the strongest to hit Hainan in a decade. Guangdong, Hainan, and Guangxi provinces have raised their emergency response to the highest level, warning residents of the risk of landslides and flooding. Woo. Yeah, this man was recording it. Why would you do that? He almost got hit with a car. He almost got hit with like a whole SUV. National task forces have been dispatched to Guangdong and Hainan to help prepare for the severe weather. State media reported that more than 410,000 people in Hainan and 670,000 in Guangdong had been evacuated due to the storm. Thank God. How far ahead of time do they know that it's coming? If you guys know, let me know down below. How much time do you have to get out of there? Hainan authorities asked residents to stay home and ordered the closure of all non-essential businesses, markets, public transport, schools, and tourist attractions. Guangdong's transport department Look closed six that. highways and a major bridge linking Hong Kong, Macau, and Zhuhai. So, I'm assuming that all the animals have probably fleed. Like, I don't know if they have squirrels or, like, cats and dogs. I wonder if they knew ahead of time and just got up out of there. Because what would happen to them if they didn't? What is the difference between hurricanes, cyclones, and typhoons? The first difference comes from where all of these storms originate. Hurricanes form in the Atlantic and Northeast Pacific Ocean and usually come in contact with Caribbean islands and the United States. Typhoons form in the Northwestern Pacific and usually hit countries like China, India, and Vietnam. Cyclones form in the South Pacific and Indian Oceans and usually hit countries like Indonesia, Australia, and East Africa. The main difference between these three is that storms in the Northern Hemisphere spin counterclockwise, such as hurricanes and typhoons, while on the other hand, storms in the Southern Hemisphere spin clockwise, which includes cyclones. All of these storms require the same ingredients. These include a weather disturbance, warm tropical waters, high moisture, and low winds. And really the only difference between these storms is where they originate and if they spin clockwise or counterclockwise. I never knew that. And it says, is this movie showing us the future? What would you do? Identity confirmed. Mateo Torres, you are under arrest. Why? I didn't do nothing. Failure That's to comply scary. will result in the use of non-lethal force. Oh, man, I, I didn't do nothing. I'm just going to work. Why don't you... Just tell me what you think I did, and I'll tell Failure you... Failure to comply will result in the use of non-lethal force. Final warning. Evie, can you call for That's crazy. You have to yeah. handcuff yourself. Okay. Contacting him now. 
So the moon is a reflection. It's not a ball of rock. I have proof. This video is going to be really crazy, guys. Oh. Look at that. Of course, it's a reflection, so it's mirrored. <clears throat> and it's quite blurry, but it's literally resembling the landmass of all those figures. And we're about to chart flights and time zones on the moon. So you guys, it's so crazy when it comes to the moon. You know, a lot of people say this is an artificial satellite, but then some other people say that it's actual like soul harvesting thing. And if you guys think about it, just picture in your minds the DreamWorks movies. And when the DreamWorks movie comes on, you have the little boy sitting on the moon and he just throws over the little fishing rod and real stuff in. So they are saying that that's another depiction of the soul harvesting moon harvesting souls from our planet like they say stuff is right in front of us i don't know if that is true or whatever it may be but that is pretty crazy for them to actually put that in there and why use that specific logo that's just a little something to think about it's super interesting idea about the world that we live in football stadiums are energy harnessing centers that's why they have opposing colors facing each other to generate energy we live on a motherboard. We live in an electromagnetic world. We are electromagnetic beings. Thank you for joining me so much. Those were some crazy, crazy, crazy videos, especially the storms that we have been having for the last week that just been coming back to back to back. It is very concerning, you guys. Make sure that you are prepared, even if you are just a little bit. Anything is better than nothing. But I'm about to head on out, you guys. As always, do right, be good. Everything is everything, and I will catch you on the next one.